first, uh, you start with the short jumps. You gauge the distance carefully and... Whoa, what? Whoa! Don't take gravity too lightly or it'll catch up with you. Hey guys and girls, what's up? This is Slip Map from Slippy Slides and we are back on Destiny. And in this one I'm going to be showing you an unused cave under the map on Earth. Now I'm not sure if this has been shown by anyone else already. I actually found it quite a long time ago, but never got round to making a video on it. But I still haven't seen any videos done on it before myself. But to be honest I haven't really looked into it that much anyway because... Every time I type in Destiny and Cave, it just comes up with hundreds of videos of loot caves, which is fair enough. Um, but I just thought I'd show this one anyway, just in case anyone hasn't seen it before. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it must have been done by now. Something like this doesn't go unnoticed for this long on a game. So this is where you need to come to. It's right at the back of the map on the grottos part of the map. And you'll come across this large tunnel if you keep going to the left. And there is uh, a little ghost down here as well that you can pick up. And it kind of looks like a, a seraphim vault door to me inside the tunnel. Uh, but that's the door that we're going to get behind and see what's behind there. So it is pretty cool to do if you're bored at any point whilst you're playing the game. Just give this one a go. So all we need to do is where these trees are, just come right to the back of the map. And you'll see this ledge sticking out of the cliff side. Just drop down onto that ledge where the shrubs or bushes are. And unfortunately we're going to have to use the old sparrow through the wall trick. Which is quite annoying I know. I don't like using it myself but it's the only way to do it unfortunately. So pull your ghost out and summon a sparrow once you're facing the wall. And hopefully you should be able to push right through the wall like that. And the good thing about this is on the other side there is a ledge that you can land on so you don't fall straight down. And there you go, there's the back of the doorway there. And it's kind of like an empty cave underneath. So I'm just going to jump across onto the top of the cave. There's the back of the doorway. Now, if you want to get inside the cave, it's quite possible. All you need to do is just come over to where this gap in the wall is, and you can just drop down. Just make sure you don't drop too far, obviously, or else you'll, you'll die when you drop off. Just drop down onto the floor in there, and you can get inside the cave. There's nothing much in here, to be honest, so it is kind of pointless other than exploring it for yourselves. And this is the bottom doorway that I think will probably lead into Seraphim Vault. You can't get much further there. Uh, there is a barrier that stops you. So try this one out for yourselves, guys and girls. It is pretty fun to do, even though it is a bit pointless. But if you're bored, give it a go. And whilst I'm running round in here, if there is any other videos you want to see, give us a shout. If there's any other glitches or uh, loot caves or anything like that you want to see on Destiny, or even other games for that matter, any other games you want to see glitches on, just give us a shout, let us know in the comments and we'll do our best to supply those. We always like doing uh, requests off you guys and girls. So if you want to get back on top of the cave, just jump out of that hole and you can get back on top. Kind of looks like King's Watch over there to me as well. I don't know if you agree on that. That building over there. But anyway, that's it for this one guys and girls. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, like I said, let us know if there's anything you want to see. We always enjoy getting requests to see what we can do with them. So this was brought to you by myself, Slipmat from Slippy Slides. Thanks as always to my subscribers. You make these videos worth doing. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care, people.